Hello everyone. So today I'm going to walk you through how to use Photoshop. Okay, so this is just very basics of Photoshop. So when you first open it up, you're going to see a few panels. You're going to see uh, your layout might be a little different. It might not be exactly like this, but every one of you should be able to go to File, New. Okay. So File New. So let's go ahead and name this, and we're going to name this uh, Photoshop Basics. And this is very important. Your resolution is either going to be 72, that's for an image that's only ever going to be seen on screens, or 300. Okay, 300 is very high resolution, that's for print. Okay, so if you're going to print this out on paper and you want it to look good, you've got to use 300. Okay, now if you use 300 and you are going to print this out, then I suggest changing this to inches. And you can make this, for instance, uh, 8.5 by 11 if you want to size of a sheet of paper. Or you could do this as 72 and we can make this the size of our desktop screen which varies depending on which screen you're using but typically maybe like I don't know 1440 by 720 uh, at the smallest 800 by 600 right? okay now if you're not sure which to use Go with 300 because you can always go smaller, but you cannot always go bigger. Okay, so we'll do that today. We'll, we'll start with 300 resolution. We'll change this to inches, and I'm going to go with, let's see, I'll do eight by six inches so that it fits in the middle of a sheet of paper. Okay, so that gives us our layout here. Let's now very important. Let's go to layers. Okay. Now, if you don't see layers on the right, I suggest going to Windows and Layers. Or, of course, you can click F7. Okay? So if I hit F7, F7, you can see my layers showing up disappearing. Okay? So layers. And first thing I'm going to do, first, actually, typically the first thing I do is I go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. Okay? and color fill one, that's fine. And basically I can choose the color of my background. Okay. So I'll make this dark, dark gray. Okay. Now there's some buttons down here. These are the ones I usually use, but they're kind of small, so if they're hard for you to see, I'll go ahead and use the menu ones. These it's the same thing as the stuff up here. So I can go to layer, new, layer. Alright, or shift control in if you're on a PC. Okay, so layer, new, layer. And I'm going to name this. Uh, layer one's fine, okay? So now I've got a layer that I can draw on if I want. I can paint on it. So, for instance, if I get my paintbrush or my pencil tool, right, if I hold this down, it gives me some different options. So you should either see a pencil tool or a brush tool, most likely the brush tool. Up here, are the options for my brush tool and of course there's some obvious ones down here too so for instance color right I'm gonna make this red okay so I just clicked on that color panel and then of course I have all my color options here so let's change that back to red okay brushes let's see where are my brushes at so I can go to Window, Brush, and that shows me my br different brush options. Okay, and of course, if I draw on the screen, I get a brush stroke. Now, it's very important to know which layer you're on. If I click on this one, then I can't really paint because this is not a layer that allows you to put artwork on it. Okay, the fill for this layer must be rasterized. That means change it into an editable layer before proceeding it will no longer be editable as a fill. Rasterize the fill? No, I don't want to do that. Okay? So this is what we call a fill. This is an editable layer. Okay? If I double click on that right there, I can change this color. You see what it's doing there? Okay? So I'm going to go with a dark gray. Now let's go over some simple tools. We've used the brush tool already. Now let's use the marquee tool. Okay, if I hold this down, I can change this to different shapes. 
It's also very similar to the lasso tool. These both make selections. Okay. Typically, we use a polygon lasso tool or a square marquee tool. Okay. And this, I can draw a square, and I can basically select part of this layer. Okay. So I'm going to select layer one. I've got my marquee selection, and then this allows me to move my selection. Or if I switch to the move tool, I can move that part of the artwork. So it's only moving the part I selected. See that? So this is the move tool. This is the marquee tool. And of course, if I want to make a very more specific selection, then I can use this tool. So if I leave it on the marquee tool, I can move that selection without moving the artwork. And if I switch to the move tool, it will move the artwork itself. Okay, and if you want to deselect, you can hit Control D, or you can go to Select, Deselect. Okay. Uh, sometimes, if Photoshop stops working and you just cannot figure out why it's not working, hit Control D because sometimes you've selected something really small. For instance, I'll give you an example. Let's say I have a really small, really small selection. Right. So I start to try to paint somewhere else. It's only going to let me paint inside of that selection. See then? So if if you're painting and it's not working, just hit Control D and then it'll start to work. Okay? Now, pretty obvious stuff. Let's use the text tool. This creates its own text layer. I can type in some stuff. Okay. Now if I switch to the move tool, and then I can move this layer. If I click on Let's see. If I click on the text tool, then I have all my options up here. But if I want to change this one, I can select it. And I can select part of it and change that part, or I can change all of it. Or if I go to the move tool and I select this layer, sometimes I double click on the T there, then I can bring my options back up again. And again, I can make this more visible. And if I go to my character palette, I can also have the options in my character. So if I go to Window, Character, see that there? I have my paragraph settings and my character settings. So I can change the font if I want. Okay, so that's how that works. So I go to the Move tool. I can move that around. All right, I can change its size. All the basic same stuff you have in most programs. Okay. A lot of these tools are straightforward, a lot of them are not. Okay, Eraser, pretty obvious if you select your art layer, then you can go and you can start erasing. Okay, And I'll go into more detail about some of these tools, like the Paint tool has a lot of different features, but we're not going to get into that right now. I also have some shape tools. Okay, If I hold this down, it gives me some different shapes to choose from. But the thing to keep in mind is this will be a fill shape. Okay, that is a vector shape. I'll explain that in class, but for now, let's just give you, I'll give you a couple examples of each one. Okay, so I can draw a square, but I cannot paint on that square. Okay, because it is a fill layer, just like the background is a fill layer. Good thing about this is I can I can make it the size I can make the size bigger or smaller, and it won't change the quality of that shape. Okay. But for instance, if I go to my layer, my artwork layer, this is not a fill. It's not a vector shape. Right? This is based on pixels. And so if I make it really small, and I, I just press Control T. Control T will allow you to change the size or shape. So if I edit this and make it really small, and then I make it really big again, you'll see that the quality is not as good anymore. It starts to look pixelated. Okay. I'm at 300 DPI, so it's not doing too bad. But if I was at 72 DPI, it becomes a very important aspect. Okay. Okay. So this is this layer. I can also turn off the visibility of that layer. Turn off the visibility of my fill shape. I can also change the color of that fill shape by double-clicking on this color palette over here. And of course, if I go to the Move tool, I can move that around. And if I hit Control T or Apple T, then I can change the size or the shape. Okay. If I press enter, that gets me out of there. 
And one last thing I want to explain before I move on is if you are in the text editor or if you are in the, if you are manipulating uh, the path or the shape, it can be difficult to do anything else in Photoshop. And so what you need to do is press the enter button and then you get out of that editor, editor mode, right? If I'm in here and then I try to start drawing, it becomes very difficult, right? So press enter and make sure you're on the right layer. Okay? So that's it for this video. And uh, you guys can play around with the tools. The ones that I didn't explain, you can try to use, see if you can figure out. But uh, I'll explain more of them in the next video, okay? Okay, so real quick, why don't you guys go ahead and do your own experiment. So you create at least one text layer, uh, make your image, and may, of course we have it 300 uh, resolution, and make it 8 by 6 inches or however big or small you want, but make sure to use inches, and make a new, go to layer, new fill layer, and create a colored background, and then go to your shape tool and create a shape. So you'll have a shape layer, and uh, if you go down here to custom shape tool, you can get some different custom ones if you want. Okay, and so you should have a shape layer, and then add some text. So you should have a text layer, and of course an art layer. Okay, so here is your art. So you can do it. You can get rid of the brush tool and do some drawings. Okay, and once you've got that done, then you can go on to the next video.